prisoners of war undergoing torture. It's not this, like, stupid, like, oh, I'm gonna go to my happy place thing that you may have seen it uh, represented as in, uh, you know, film and TV where they have a tendency to minimalize or make fun of mental health. I mean, everyone with an open mental health disorder in some cop shows is a murderer. You know? So, there's a lot of weirdness in film where it's like, even though the reality, I think, is that patients with mental health issues are more likely to be victims of crimes, actually. Check me on that one if you know the FBI stats, but Yet that is my understanding. I'm a doctor, not a uh, police commissioner. <laughs> so, bottom line is, erase from your thoughts, preconceptions, and let's get some real mental health visualization going in here, okay? So before we start, I want you to think about the place. Go ahead and take a pen and paper and write this down. It may help to go through this exercise with me today twice. First, to um, just experience it. And second, to write down your answers to the questions I'm going to be asking you. Okay? So that you can then do this for yourself and you know what details to include when you do this for yourself because you're not always going to have a YouTube video with you in a moment of distress when you need to take a break and do this and then you can do this in the middle of a stressful day on your lunch break just go in like the closet or somewhere quiet and just do this for yourself the bathroom is where I used to hide during residency when I was so exhausted and in pain because I have fibromyalgia and no one cared at all that I was in pain um, there was just a lot of judgment and um, you know people were gossiping about me because of my mental health and it was just terrible. It was like I didn't want to let anyone know anything because I heard how they talked about the patients. You know, I heard a physician say patients with fibromyalgia, he just finds them so draining. Well, of course, I'm not going to mention that I have it. I did, I, I did, but still, you know, it, you be careful what you say about people, groups of people, because someone in that group could be listening to you. So, before we get started, write down what your safe place is, and then how it makes you feel. And that's even if this is your first path, just write that down. Put it in your mind, know what it is. Okay. Let's get started to begin. Sit in a comfortable chair with your feet flat on the floor, and your hands resting comfortably either on the arms of the chair or on your lap. You can put them on your belly since we'll be doing some breathing exercises if you like. People find that helpful. Now close your eyes. I really do want you to close your eyes. The visual is only here to guide you into the process, but I actually want this process to be something that you are able to do on your own. Okay. Take a slow, long breath in through your nose with your eyes closed. Feel your belly expand like a balloon as you breathe in. Hold that breath for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then release it slowly through your mouth. Feel your belly collapse like a balloon losing its air. Again, take a long 
something. 
physician expert on relaxation, which obviously I'm far away from that right now. I'm just a generalist, but this is something that I am researching, and I think I'm one of the only, if not the only, intentional physician doing ASMR on YouTube right now, so um, I am doing my best to really study and use what I learn um, to help everybody relax and feel better share it with you. So, <laughs> so I very much, um, I very much think that uh, if you'd like, if you'd like to, you know, buff up your relaxation skills, you should definitely hit up the description and uh, get on that. That list is free. Um, there are also emergency resources in the description for if you're feeling suicidal. say it happens because it's happening to you. It is not you. Don't let the disease trick you into thinking it's you. It's not you. It's happening to you. Like cancer or diabetes, it's happening to you. So don't let it kill you. Okay? Make sure you save these emergency numbers. And in addition, there's also a resource for um, how you can help yourself find a therapist. All kind of resources in the description, and in a lot of these videos, I include. Um, I usually include like different handouts or something practical in the description that you can use. Okay, so um, you can get a uh, you can get a therapist sometimes for free at your local health department. So I'd recommend checking there first if you require an online therapist and do not have you know do not qualify for like a free therapy at your local health department you can check out betterhelp.com slash dr jen that is my special link that i got you so that you could get 10 percent off of therapy it is an affiliate link does support the channel none of that matters okay don't get don't use my link for that reason okay you're gonna need to use what's gonna be able to help you, okay? And I think it's cool to get you a discount, but at the same time, if you can get free therapy at your local health department, please, like, go for it. Always be willing to fire your therapist. If the therapist you have isn't working for you, fire them, okay? Um, the, there was a study, and I've mentioned this multiple times, and you can find this anywhere online, but a study found that it was more important the connection a patient felt with their therapist than the modality that was used in predicting whether or not the person was going to get better. So what does that mean? That means that if it's not working right now, you shouldn't feel bad if you need to fire your therapist and tell them no hard feelings. I just, I think I might be having some transference or counter-transference with you, which means that things aren't working, but in therapy language, and so I would really, um, I would really like to please, uh, I please request somebody else. Again, no hard feelings. And if they are a professional, they should be able to understand that, right? There should be people who aren't always reasonable, but they can't make you keep seeing that same person, okay? Yeah. You need to see who you need to see, okay? Other resources in the description, okay? There's some resources to stories. There's some resources to how you can, um, I think there's all kinds of things down there. The description is full of things. 
yourself room. 